so i believe you have already understand this concept okay so let's now implement that concept creating this function okay similar to this function now before doing that and uh, there are actually few things that we need to consider okay uh, let's actually uh, explain those things first there are actually different scenarios that can actually come so let's see what are the scenarios so our maximum number of inputs can be three because there is one two three that's the maximum okay so our first scenario is nargin okay is greater than three means error i should provide an error if the number of inputs is greater than three okay that's the gone okay that's the error is gone now see if our nargin is equals to equals to one that means i am providing only this a now there can be actually two condition the first condition is whether it is a array or the second condition is whether this is a matrix okay if you remember if it is an array then it is same as lcm array our built-in function that we already have but if our input was a matrix we can check we have to perform this operation because by default this is the operation actually that is performed by your max operation if i provide a matrix by default it will perform the column wise maximum so we have to do that we have to implement these things okay now the three is now the third condition is if nargin is equals to equals to two then we have to check something like this if okay, then we have to check if our second parameter was one okay we have to do something like this if our second parameter was two okay then we have to perform row wise okay i believe it is clear and the fourth condition is if our nargin is equals to equals to three then we have to perform then we have to perform all operation okay so i believe it is clear okay try to understand these things by yourself okay we are just going to try to replace replicate all only these three portion okay to uh, give you an understanding how actually a professional programming should be written okay so uh, let's let's so what we are going to do is that we are going to create a function that is called function out is equals to uh, let's name it a different function like lcm mat of uh, we are going to take variable input okay so something like this and let's end it then save it saved okay so this is saved now let's consider the first cons consideration that is if our nargin okay is greater than three then i have to provide some input my input is how is equals to okay so if i provide more than three inputs then i am going to provide an error okay something like this now else if else else if else if our nargin if our nargin is equals to equals to one okay so let's take a look at here so we have already completed this task now we are actually trying to look at this one if nargin is equals to one then we have to check these two things whether our input was an array or whether our input was a matrix okay how can do that how can we do that now so we can just check it using like this so if this is our array like this so there is a function that is called is row since this is a row vector if i write is row of a it is going to give me a logical one that means true okay so uh, again if i have a matrix like this say for example b is a matrix so if i try to check is row of b it is going to give me zero so this is not a row vector because this is a matrix so if i write something like this is row of is row of our first input okay let's just try to check and let's define it so i am going to take the first input energy of one okay this is going to take the first input as a matrix not as a cell okay this sign this uh, second bracket or curly braces is going to take it as a matrix on an array okay so then i'm going to check if is row x and okay this is the and sign because it can be a row vector as well as a column vector something like that if it is a row vector or a column vector if this is true then what i'm going to do i'm going to perform the row wise operation so this is our out is equals to simply lcm array of this x that means 
I am going to do if our input was an array, it can be a row vector or a column vector. If our input was an array, I am going to perform our general LCM array operation. Okay, the one we have already created. Okay, so this is something like this LCM array of x. Else, if this is not true, okay, it has to be an OR operation actually. If either of these two, okay, so OR is actually done like this. If it is a row vector or a column vector, perform this. Okay, else that means this is a matrix. If both of them are not true, that means it is a matrix. So what I am going to do now? I am going to perform okay the column wise maximum. Now how we can actually do that? This column wise uh, col not maximum actually a column wise LCM operation. So how we can actually do that? So to do that we can do something like this. I am going to write a for loop going through each of the column, and for each of the column I am going to perform this. LCM array operation. Okay, try to understand the concept properly. Try to understand what I'm actually writing. Okay, that's why I'm not just giving you the codes. I'm writing the codes here directly so that you can actually understand step by step how I'm proceeding. Okay, so I'm going to write for i is equals to 1 is to size of x comma 2. Okay, the size of x comma 2 is providing. Okay, say for example size of b. Okay, this is going to provide me 4 comma 4. When I write size of b comma 2, this is going to give me the second input that is the column. Okay, so because I'm going to go through all the columns. So for i is equals to 1 is to size of x comma 2, I'm going to write something that is called out is equals to okay, out is equals to out comma out is equals to so first I have to define it here if I'm going to write this way as an empty matrix. Okay. In the array out is equals to out comma LCM array LCM array of hot. So if this is our array, this is our if this was our array, I'm going to take this slice of this one, this column at a time. So I'm going to take slice of it is saved in x x of all the rows of the ith column. Okay, and I'm going to put I'm going to perform the LCM operation on this column particular. In the first step, in the second step, I'm going to perform the LCM LCM operation in the second column and going to append those things on this matrix, our output matrix. So it is going to take give me one element, one output. It is going to take me one output. So for four columns, it is going to give me four outputs. So I I believe you got the idea. And end. Okay, end this one as well as end this one. So this is just done. Then let's come to the next one. Again, I'm going to write a LCM operation. If our margin is equals to equals to 2 that means this is the thing now so we have already performed okay we have already performed this structure as well this is done now i am going to check this one if margin is equals to 2 i am going to check if the second input is 1 or the second input is 2 okay so if margin is equals to equals to 2 i am going to write again if if our margin of 2 okay sorry this is is equals to equals to the 2 hoy if it is cos equals to 1, that means I have to perform this column-wise operation. So I am going to check. So again, I am going to take this one first. Take this one as this one. Okay. And I am going to just copy this portion because we are going to perform the same operation. Okay. If 1 means I am going to perform the column-wise operation. Okay. So the same thing. Else, else that means if the uh, this second element is not 1 that means it should be 2 or we can write else if to make it properly if this one energy of 2 is equals to equals to 2 then what I am going to go I am to go through loop wise instead of column wise ok so let's just copy this one again and write it here so instead of going through loop wise I am going to go column uh, column wise I am going to go loop column uh, row wise and now I am to check for ith columns, all ith rows, all columns. Okay. So sorry about the uh, mistake in my voice. What I am saying. So this is this one is done. Okay. Then write the final input that is our else if if our margin okay is equals to equals to three. Then what I am going to do? Okay. Then what I have to do? I have to perform this task of all the elements. So to do that, we can do something like this. Okay, we can actually uh, we can actually actually take this outside. 
I made a mistake. Okay, it's okay, completely fine. So this is again. So if you remember, we can actually do something like this. B of all is going to provide all the elements of this matrix, right? All the elements in this column. Okay. Uh, if you know the uh, row slicing or the column slicing, this way we can slice the all the elements in a column vector. Okay. So I am going to write something like this. Let's say x2 is equals to x of all, x of all the elements. Now I have all the elements. Now I can just simply perform our LCM array on this on this matrix. So our out is equals to LCM array lcm array on this x2 okay and let's end it okay so i hope it is clear there can be some mistakes but and uh, let's finish this thing let's try to check okay let's try to check lcm mat let's see if everything is all right so first let's give it a let's give it a so first of all, this was the element. This is something I'm giving. So it is giving me the perfect output. Let's check it for B. So it is going to give me this column wise and it is actually giving me this column wise function. If I write B of 1, it should give me the same thing. And it is giving me the same thing. If I write something like this, so uh, the first four thing, okay, the LCM of this four should be, let's check, it, let's check with this one, LCM array of this first four. As you can see, this is perfect. So that means it is actually providing me this uh, row wise, uh, this row wise matrix, uh, mat row wise LCM operation. And if I actually provide something like this, B of 2 and 3, so if I provide something like this, 3, it is going to give me the uh, total, uh, to uh, the total uh, LCM of all the elements, LCM of all the elements. Okay. We can actually uh, fine tune our function much more. Okay, so that is called actually fine tuning. Okay, okay. Uh, if uh, as you have seen, there are different conditions that we have placed. So we can actually adhere other conditions like we can check whether our input was indeed all or not. If I did instead of writing all, if I write something else, for example, five, my mistake, if I write a, okay, so I should give an error, array, and I should give an error for that. So we can actually like this way, we can actually fine tune our. Uh, our program adding more else if condition inside this thing okay so it is just to give you a, a basic idea how you can actually work with this variable argument input okay and i believe you have uh, you have gotten the idea and there is an exercise that i have provided in your assignment and you have to implement something like this way so uh, i hope it is understand i hope it is clear and this is actually very very important because whenever you search for a documentation you will see this kind of thing Say for example, uh, if I show you something like this, you have already seen a function like unique. If you try to check any function, you will see there are different options, and these are actually this a. As you can see, this a is the compulsory input of the function, and these all of those things are actually optional inputs. Okay, so this all of this actually done using this uh, variable argument. This is variable argument option. Now, one thing in particular that I just noticed here also that you can see. I can also actually take multiple inputs, multiple outputs. Okay, instead of taking one single output, I also can take multiple outputs. And to define that, I have to write something else. That is called the third thing. That is called variable argument out. Variable argument out. Something like this. So you don't have to worry about it right now. This is actually more important. This is most important for you now. So try to understand and uh, get familiar with, with these things by writing your code by yourself by your hand try to write it by yourself or do it for the gcd area and so on by yourself okay so i believe it is clear so let's finish it